How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another new episode of Let's Play Eastbook 4, The Mask of the Sun. We are back in Hysteria, and we just fought a monster that was threatening the city. And now we can explore the land a little bit more now that it is, once again, monster-free. As the third of the gems is supposed to be here. So I guess we'll head this way and see... My guess would be we need to go see either the Rota Tree or head to Zeptic Village. Let's see here, Rota Tree would be south. Having completed its sacred duties, the Rota Tree sleeps. Well, I guess we don't have to see the Rota Tree. kind of neat to be back here, though. And in a time of peace. Well, it was a time of peace. Yep, I guess Zeptic Village it is. This is Zeptic Village. Seems to have boomed a little bit. The villages are, the houses are stone now. Hello, Adal. As ever, we are in your debt for all you've done. I keep the silver bell around my neck these days to keep it from getting lost again. You know who we have to see. Should be this house? Oh, hello, Adal. I haven't seen you in quite some time now. Have you seen my husband, Luda, by any chance? He still sleepwalks just as much as before, but at least now there are no demons that might attack him. I'll bet he went to Solomon's Shrine again. I swear, some days I wish he wasn't so busy with his research. He claims to have made a great deal of progress in uncovering the history of East. So Luda Gemma appears to be at Solomon's Shrine. How's old Jebba? Hello again, young man. Do you not know who I am? Have I aged so that you don't recognize Jebba Toba? Oh, don't look so nervous. I'm merely playing with you. Are you looking for Goban? He gave up thieving shortly after the demons were driven away. Have you been to the old thieves' hideout? It's been converted into a warehouse for antiques. Goban might be there. The creation of Claria also meant the creation of demons. But now that the demons are gone, the Claria is still here for us to use. I suppose we got the best possible outcome we could hope for, huh? I just realized this is the first time we're climbing this mountain and East has fallen back into place. Hey, Adal, have you been? It's me, Gordo. The old mine and Darm Tower were sealed off, but we've modified this shrine to leave to Lorant's village. I discussed it with the elders for quite a while and we decided to leave the goddess's room a sacred place. I think it's best that way. Don't you agree? That path leads to Rant's village. I'll bet Lilia would love to see you. Why don't you pay her a visit? We will. Aw, oh, can't go that way. But first, let's go see Goban. Goban's Goods Emporium Warehouse. No unauthorized entry. Sorry, Goban, I'm coming in anyway. Wow, this place really is packed full of antiques. I'm not going to try to steal from Goban. The cave. Hey, doll, it's good to see you back in Rant's village. Now that the demons are gone, it's no big deal to go visit other villages. I don't know how we ever managed to deal with all the isolation before. It's good to see you again, Adol. Once more, I offer my thanks for your help. Ah, you're looking for Lilia. 
Huh, haven't seen her. Or Benola, for that matter. Where could they have gone? Well, that's disappointing. Now that things are peaceful, I can't sell off any of my stock anymore. Talk about a mixed blessing. Trade is all but dead these days. If you're looking for Dr. Flair, he left to go... Uh, well, I thought he went with you. Oh, he was able to make that special medicine he was after? That's great! No sign of Lillian. Or Benoa, either. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Hey, a doll! It's me, Tarf! I came to visit Lilia, but she and Benoah aren't home. That's just my luck. I wonder where they went. Ah, if it isn't a doll, a Tarf! The Minstrel returns! How are you, Luda? Pretty well, in fact. Speaking of which, a doll. I have something I've been meaning to tell you. Once you left, I dove back into my research on the history of East. I found out that, back when this land was settled and named East, there was some link to the people of Kelsetta. It all fits, though. As you've seen, we usually have a goddess statue as a symbol of the two goddesses of East, Fina and Lair. But the statue only shows a single goddess, with outstretched wings. So what's your point? Now just let me finish, this could be very significant information. I don't think that statue is modeled after Fina or Lair, specifically. My theory is that it represents the Chalcedons who tried to cross the sea to Asteria centuries ago. <sighs> Not again. You always come up with the craziest ideas. Don't you see it all? If I'm right, then Chalceda and East have deep historic ties to one another. Their proof must be in Asteria if there's any proof to be had at all. Have you checked in the temple? Of course I have, and I found something too. There's an inscription in one of the temple walls. It was worn, but I could make some of it out. It says something about the Eye of the Moon passed from Kelsetta to East. The Eye of the Moon? Luda, where is it? That's the whole reason the demons are here. So yeah, that's it. The demons return all makes sense now. All right, let's go and get it. Huh? What do you mean, go and get it? Exactly what I said. I followed up on that, and it seems like the Eye of the Moon might be right here in Rant's village. That's why I'm here. Nice work, Luda. It sounds easy enough. But who has it? Lilia, of course. Not really surprising, is it? What? You mean it's in Lilia's house? Lilia's in danger. Luda, do you have any idea where she could be? Unfortunately, no. But perhaps Dogi or Gobon would. I'm sure I heard them mention something about her earlier. Um, I wonder, there's the winged goddesses and the twin goddesses. So which does the winged god fit into it all? I wish I could go too. Okay, so, um, yeah, that sounds bad. Hey, Adol, it's me, Keith. Ever since you defeated Darm, I've been able to change into my demon form and been back at will. Would you like to see? Ha! Ha! See? Good to see Keith is doing well. God, this is fun. Whoa, hold on. I boarded up the basement just to make sure no more of those demons came out. It's kept things quiet, at least so far. That's a good thing. You guys remember clearing basements out, demons out of his basement. That was some nasty work. Now let's try going to Gobon's little antique shop again. I guess Gobon isn't here. Who goes there? If you think you can get away with stealing from my warehouse, you're about to learn one hell of a lesson. Huh? A doll? What in the world are you doing here of all places? Wait, where's Dogi? He should be here. I haven't seen him. Lilia should be with him. What? 
Gobot, where is she gone? She's in grave danger. Oh, damn it! What do you mean? Dogie told me that she ran off to Manet Port in hopes of catching up with you. She apparently was going to try to talk you out of leaving. I don't know what could have happened. If I'm not mistaken, she also had some sort of weird stone or something at her house. She was planning to give it to you. Of course, when she ran off, it got Benoa all worried, so she went to Manet as well. Oh, yeah, I have something of yours. Hold on just a second. Here you are. You received the wing. That's useful. That wing seems to have just as much power as it did before. It's strange, though. Since there's no more magic in hysteria, I wouldn't have thought it would still work. You ought to find it useful, though, since you can use it as much as you want. Got it. All right, I'm going back to Midday Port. I'm coming with you. Besides, it'll give me a chance to show you how to use it. Vanilla. Ah, doll! Lily had boarded a ship to chase after you. This was as far as I could follow her trail. I feel like such a fool. That strange old stone is said to have the power to make people fall in love. What mysterious stone? It's just an old family heirloom. There's an old story about it using moonlight to inspire love. The Eye. You're talking about the Eye of the Moon, right? Eye of the Moon? Um, yes, I think that was its name. I'm sorry to always cause you so much trouble, Adol, but can you please bring Lily at home? I'm worried. I'll be okay. If she went to Calcetta, she could be as far as Komodo by now. I'll get her home safely. Okay, Adol, I'm heading back to the storehouse. Let me know if you need my help again. Good luck. Now, before I go there, let's see if you maybe reopen your little store. Nope. Something tells me I'll be buying the best weapons in the game from him there. I swear, some days I just don't know what to do with that girl. She gets so moody lately. Well, there's one problem. How am I... Ah, that's right. I don't need a ship anymore. Warp to Promalock! I hear that a huge mountain was floating in the air above Hysteria, but now it's back where it belongs. Just my luck, I would have loved to be able to see that for myself. Apparently, monsters are swarming around the border for some reason. You know, I wonder, last time we were here, the shops weren't open yet. Are you open and selling me stuff now? Now? Yes! What do you got? Bro, 10,000 weapons. Let's see here, how much money do we got? 4,000. Well, that don't help me none. Let's see if we can find our friends again. Maybe one of them have seen Lilia. Hey, Adol, when you're done with your journey, I'd like you to come back and tell me all about it. You're back already, Adol. You know, you really should learn how to relax once in a while. Oh, I hate this controller. Fortunately, it will be replaced soon. I have a better controller and an adapter to let me use it on my computer on its way. Gate's closed. I haven't seen you around before, stranger. The wine here is rolled around. Care to have a nip of it? No. Do you know about that informant guy called Duren? Yeah. Ha, I didn't think so. Supposedly he sells valuable information. I love the music in Promalock. Yeah, I know. You've told me that already. I'm too happy for words. Great news! We're engaged now, and it's all thanks to you. I got this at the market, but I'm going to let you have it. I think it's called Salsetta Panacea. Oh, do let me know when you plan to get married. Something like a good stiff drink after a hard day's work. And there's the dancing sailor again. The gate's closed. She's got to be in town somewhere. Ah! 
Stupid controller, I pressed right. Locks, locks. Locks, locks. Open. You're more of a hero than just some adventurer, aren't you? You noticed? I thought that was obvious by this point. Where could that girl have gone? Locks. 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 So you're going to Kelsena? I hear the women there are absolutely gorgeous. Sure wish I could go. I don't think I'll ever leave. Yeah, I've already been there. You've already told me about venomous monsters. I don't need to know again. That place is all locked. That's the tavern again. Sounds like a way station between the port and the mountain pass. Okay, that's fine. Just let me leave. Teach you something useful if you give me ten gold. Oh, that's what it was. I didn't have one of the spell swords equipped, so I couldn't use magic. Ugh. And here I thought I'd discovered something awesome. Trauma lock. What am I missing here? I've been to every door. This is the port town of Trauma Lock. No boat at that harbor. Here we go, maybe this is it. No, it's going back to Hysteria. That don't help any. I can't take your ship anyway, apparently. Celray. These are all locked. Okay, the heck am I missing here? Can't seem to leave trauma lock. I don't see anyone else to talk to. See if I can cut you a deal. You already know? Never mind then. Let's 
check the armor store. Yeah, there's no one here. Okay, now I'm just... stumped. Every door is either locked or giving me no information anyway. I can't leave town. And I can't seem to use the wing to go anywhere. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Let's try Cell Ray. I did see a girl heading off towards the forest. That idiot. That's really a safe place to go, Lilia. seem to be on her trail. But if those mages catch up to her before we do... How are you doing? Dr. Flair says I've made a full recovery. It could have been much worse if not for his help. I owe both of you my life. Actually, maybe you can help me with something. A girl named Lilia recently came to Calcetta by boat. I need to find her as quickly as possible. A girl? Karna did help a girl through the forest not too long ago. I wonder if she's this Lilia you're looking for. Really? Do you know where she is now? Well, Karna took the men to raid the Sanctuary Castle in order to capture Gruda and his companions. I would guess that the girl from the forest is staying in the hut at the edge of the village. I'll take you there. Follow me. This is it. Come on in. You! you! Lilia! A doll, wait! <laughs> I am El Deal, but you will soon know me simply as Master. Ah, Lemnos, I see that you have somehow shaken off Bammy's curse. So you're the one responsible for turning me into that thing. What do you want with Lilia? 
<laughs> Can you truly be so naive? Let us see. Whatever shall I do with this fair maiden? Ah yes, I believe I shall be taking her with me. <laughs> her untainted blood will serve me well as my holy sacrifice. And the most delicious part of it all? There's not a thing you can do to prevent it. You have failed at all. Lilia! <laughs> I can't believe it. What's all that noise? Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on? We're under attack. It's the Roman soldiers. What? Hear me, citizens of Komodo. You are to lay down your arms and surrender at once. Any resistance will be met with deadly force. Surrender peacefully, and we swear that no man, woman, or child will be harmed. Know that this town is now part of the Roman Empire. What's going on here? Tell me the meaning of this. I remember you. You're that Adal fellow from the border prison. You have no business with the likes of these peasants. You're free to leave. We'll handle this. All right, men. Round them up. I won't let you. You would dare stand in our way. You're either very brave or very foolish, boy. There's a plaza nearby, accessible by way of a hole in one of the trees. We'll be waiting there to settle this. We're just going to retreat and go to a big open space where you can fight us, as if we're a boss fight. Are you sure about this? There's no turning back now. I won't let them get away with this. If I remember right, so let's save. We should have killed you in the prison like the swine you are. Now as you breathe your last, know it'll be your fault that the people of Komodo will suffer as they die. Kill him! I'd like to see you guys do it. Good job! Okay, let's be a little more careful and better prepared this time. First of all, let's switch from our wing to our herb for the purpose of healing. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's thin the herd, boys. about half of them that time. Let's go ahead. So I don't have to do that again next time. Adal, are you okay? Don't worry, Lemnos, I'm fine. We need to let Karna know what's been happening here. She gave me a carrier pigeon so I can send her a message. You said she went to the castle, right? That must be where Eldil took Lilia. You're probably right. If you want to catch up with him, you should get going. Whatever you do, just be careful. We don't know what other kinds of powers he could use against you. Good luck. Well, that little encounter done seems like a goodest place of any to go ahead and wrap this little episode up. As always, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, 
subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback that you may have in the comments below as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time on another journey into the land of Kelsetta in East Book 4, Mask of the Sun. Farewell. <laughs>